Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this adorable crystal bag for prom. I guarantee nobody will have the same bag as you because first of all, you made it yourself. And second of all, I've never seen this anywhere else on the internet. I think it's really, really cute and very glamorous and fabulous. It's all sparkly and it just looks like something very expensive even though you just made it yourself. If you'd like to learn how to make your own and to be absolutely fabulous and have an eye-catching piece for prom, then please keep on watching. Okay, so if you guys would like to make your own crystal bag, then this is how it's done. First thing you're gonna need to do is buy some crystals. It's important to buy these crystals that have four holes in them, and all in all, I needed 300, but depending on how big you want yours to be, you need more or less, and I will link the eBay seller down below. From the same seller, I bought these little four-way connectors that we're gonna be needing, and then I also purchased a little bag of these like two-way connectors. So, to combine the crystals together, you will need one connector and four crystals. So, you can take the connector and then kind of stick the like little pegs through the, each hole of the crystal and then bend it over as you can see on the video here. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically it'll connect four crystals together like this. So then you can repeat that and then you can connect those together by taking one of the connectors, folding over the little pegs, sticking them into the hole, turning it over, and then like folding over the little pegs again to make sure everything's nice and secure. And that is how you connect your crystals. So now you're gonna need to do a row of 11 because that's how wide I made my bag, but you can of course do more or less, however big you want your bag to be. So then I just um, continue to connect more crystals to it. Uh, this is a pretty tedious job, it takes a long time, but basically you're gonna wanna end up with a shape like this. So this is 11 crystals times nine crystals, and I made two like bag parts, bigger parts as you can see with holes for your hand to hold on. And then I made one in between piece. I wish I could say it was midnight to be a little more dramatic, but honestly, it's only eight at night. So yes, that took me an extremely long time, but what we're gonna do next is we're gonna finish off the edges of this like handle part a little bit nicer. So what I did is I took those two-way connectors and I bent them so that way they had a little bit of a curve to them because they're a tiny bit too big. Then I folded over the pegs and added those all along the like handle part and the top part so that way it kind of holds together nicely. Then for the corners, what I did is I took a four-way connector and I broke off one of the pegs, then I folded the rest of the three over, stuck them into the corner, and then folded over the little tops again, so that way you had like a nice little corner. And then you're gonna repeat that for your other little handle, front piece, whatever you wanna call it. And then of course I made more pieces, so you're gonna need two side pieces, as you can see here, that are four times nine crystals, and then one bottom piece that is 11 times four crystals. So, to join everything together now, I used this like metal wire. It's basically like a nylon wire that's enforced with metal, but you can also use nylon, whatever you have, just make sure it's something sturdy. So I threaded it through the first hole, added this little like squish bead. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but like it's a little metal piece that you add on, squish it together so that way it holds, and then I start to sew everything together. So it's also important that while you're sewing is to hold it at an angle so that way you know how tight you have to pull your little loops. Then I just repeated that for the other side and the bottom, and this is how it looks like, and then I repeated that again to sew on the other side of the bag, and then I was done. So that was it for today's video, but please tune in next week for more. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter. I love you all so much. Have a good night. Mwah.